Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel. And it has been a while since I have done a haul video and I have to share with you what I, the past two days have been absolutely amazing as far as my shopping goes. So the first place I went was to a thrift store in Penyan, New York. We were on our way down to the cabin. We were having a good time just kind of going around shopping, seeing what Penyan has to offer. I didn't know they had a thrift store. Found it and said, okay, we're going to go. So I found a whole bag of Elmer's glue sticks, and I it's the washable school glue, the purple that I use. So if, if only one of these works, it's going to be great. It was 50 cents. I found these for 50 cents. They are actually like a Hewlett Packard... You can print photographs on them. I don't think I'll use them for that, but I liked the papers and I thought, what the heck, for 50 cents. Um, these also were 50 cents and I haven't even opened them because they were closed and I thought, well, let's see. So let's see what's in here. But for 50 cents, there's more of the photo cards. That's an HP thing. Oh, there's old oh, look at craft envelopes and more photograph things. All right. It is, the weather here has turned very, very rainy. It's very wet. <coughs> Sorry, everything is wet. I'm not going to try to put that back in the box, in the bag right now. So these are more of the same, but with blue envelopes. Okay. I'm not going to take them out because I know what the, they look like. This, okay is a cooling towel and I, for 50 cents, I thought I got the cooling towel. Obviously somebody just got it as a gift and then, you know, gave it in, gave it away. Um, but my, my husband just got one and he said it was absolutely wonderful. That heat wave that we had uh, just last week that was so incredibly hot he used his a lot while he was painting, and I thought, okay, I'm going to pick up for 50 cents. I'm going to pick up another one. These are just folders. They were a quarter a piece. I picked up four of them because I thought these would be good to put my projects in. Right now, I have them in kind of these loose bags, and things tend to fall out and whatnot. They may still fall out of here, but I figured for a quarter, what the heck. And then there were these. Okay, so these are white matte DVD and whatnot labels. I can use these for brayer off sheets. I can just use them. I mean, they're nice circles, so I can just decorate them and stamp on them and cut them out. There are so many uses for these because obviously we're not using them as, as CDs and DVD labels anymore. Um, this makes prints, and I... I probably won't use this for my my journals. Um, I probably will use this to print out my own photos and put in scrapbooks. So I have that, but I'm going to put that there. Easy Peel White Mailing Labels. Again, this will be great for scrapbook or for um, gel printing. For I, I've been watching Carrie the Crafter make his labels. And I've thought, oh, that would be so cool if I could ever find labels. Well, there, I found a couple sheets of labels. There aren't very many in there, but for 50 cents, I was fine. I'm going to get to this one in a minute. These are more matte white CD labels. I picked up all the ones they had for 50 cents. My glory for 50 cents. So if anybody wants any of these, let me know, and I will be happy to send you some. That could be a, a present. All right, now this bag I am very interested in. It did not have a... Um, a price on it and I think she ended up charging me 50 cents for this whole bag of paper but it's there's graph paper mostly but this is what I had seen on the other side more labels look at these more labels I can put them through my printer I can stamp on them I can do whatever I want and then look at all the graph paper that I can... These are going to show up, you know, in my journals. These will definitely show up. So that was my haul from the, the thrift store in Penyan, New York. This whole haul, plus a bird feeder. Uh, my husband got a new 
hummingbird feeder for the cabin, which is currently down at the cabin, and filled up, and the hummingbirds are already at it. We have, I think, six hummingbird feeders down there. Uh, they love it, and, and we love having them come visit us. In any case, the whole thing was $7.25. $7.25. That's it. I loved it. It was great. So I'm going to set those aside because today was the last day of the Clifton Springs library sale. And it was $10 for an entire bag, one of those cloth canvas bags. If you filled it up, you got whatever was inside of it for $10. So I already have taken out because they've already been subsumed into the house. Um, my husband got some Christmas CDs. He got two Norman Rockwell big art books that he's going to be used. He got a book of art quotes. I think that was all he got. I, on the other hand, went just a little bit crazy because, you know me, I like to read. So I have never read Sue Grafton, and I keep hearing about the, the, the alphabet books. So I bought a bunch of them. Um, so there's B and, okay, hang on, H, I, J, K, I, they didn't have A, A was, was missing, and that was okay. Um, also, I got a Star Trek William Shatner novel, The Ashes of Eden, I have never read this one, I have so many Star Trek novels, you would, you would be so amazed, I, shelves, shelves of them. Plural. I really have. I'm. I'm a trekkie. What a trekker. What can I say? Um. Okay. What else is in here? Oh, that's one of the CDs we got. Celtic Dreams. I'm looking forward to putting that in and seeing what that sounds like. Um. I'm looking for all my Sue Grafton ones. Okay. There's I. So because I think I got H I J K. This is F, E, D, B, but I think I have some more. Hang on. I'm pulling them out. Oh, we got a couple of DVDs. In the Heights, Dear Evan Hansen. Um, looking forward to seeing those movies because I have not seen those movies. Okay, maybe those were all the ones that I got. I got a Guy Gavril K book, The Last Light of the Sun. I've not ever read him. But I've heard I've read a couple of his short stories and I enjoyed the short stories, so I'm looking forward to reading that. You're sitting to yourself, didn't you get anything to break apart? No, not really. The Shape of Water DVD. Oh, there's another super C. I knew I had C. So I have B C D E F. I don't have G. H I J K. So there we go. I got a bunch of Sue Grafton books. Never having read her, but I know she's good. I mean, I hear she's good, so I'm looking forward to reading her. I got a Debbie Main Comer, The Choir of Angels. That's uh, three short stories. And a Nora Roberts, The Rise of Magics. This is uh, The Chronicles of the One, book three. And I, I'm, I'm thinking I have a couple of the others, but I don't know. So I have thought, well, to go in my bag of books, of course... So we're talking about a bag of books, you know, a bag, a big, huge bag. This whole thing was $10. So all of these books were $10. And then I got this one, The Definitive Guide to Color Palettes Through the Ages. And what it is, as you look at it, um, it's the colors that Tiffany used. It's the color that the were in India. There were the, the Moorish tiles. Colonial America, and then what, what, what sold me on it was not so much that as this, because these are Turner's yellows. These are the colors that he used. Um, Japanese minimalism, I don't know, Victorian painted ladies, those are the, the houses. These are, are colors that would be used, a color palette for that. Uh, Rococo's glitzy interiors. I don't know. I don't even know. I don't know my stuff enough to know what half of these are referring to. So I will be 80 color palettes in here. And I thought this would be a great reference tool. 
I'm not going to cut this one up. I'm going to be using it as a reference tool so that I can know what colors I can put together and creating different palettes. So I got that. So I got all of these books, all the Sue Grafton books. I got the Star Trek and Gavril K over here. Guy Gavril K. I got Nora Roberts. I got Debbie May Comer. We got a CD, DVDs, all of this, plus a bunch, three, three huge, I mean, the, the Norman Rockwell books my husband got are the size of the one on the bottom, the, the, the art book, times four. They're huge and very, very heavy, but 10 bucks. So I have spent $17.25 this week, and this was my haul. I hope you're having a great time. Make sure you check out those sales because you can get some absolutely great bargains. Till later. Oh, by the way, if you have not been watching, um, I have been doing the Carrie the Crafters uh, challenge for the week, Jelly Postcard Play, and uh, for the month. So I have a, a bunch of videos out at this point. I'm not sure when this particular video will go live. So I'm thinking it will be on on Friday the 5th of July. Uh, but in any case, I hope you are uh, watching those. They're short, very short little videos. I'm having a great time with them. And in the meantime, you know what? Have a great time. This is Cindy signing off.